I don't have vocabulary for it, but for someone to compare trying to live by your faith to a person who brought on the Holocaust or to slave owners is just, it's insulting, it's ridiculous. I don't have <laughs> the words for it, but it's wrong. By now, most people are familiar with these cases involving bakers and florists and photographers who have declined to provide their services for same-sex weddings because of their religious beliefs. I serve everybody. I just don't make cakes for every event. It's never the, the people, it's always the event that I look at it and say, I can't do that. One of the most famous cases involves a Colorado baker named Jack Phillips, and his case is actually going before the Supreme Court. But what most people don't know are some of the pretty terrible allegations that had been made against him, both through the public and even by a government official. One of the commissioners on the Colorado Civil Rights Commission called religious freedom despicable rhetoric and compared not making a cake to slavery and the Holocaust. That was particularly offensive to me because my dad fought in World War II. He landed on Omaha Beach, Normandy. He fought across France. He fought across Germany. He ended up being part of a group that helped liberate Buchenwald concentration camp. And for her to compare not making a cake to the Holocaust, knowing what my dad went through, was just ludicrous and personally offensive. When we opened the bakery initially, and from the first day I got the key, he came in like every day. So I made sure that he had coffee and muffins and I got to sit down and get to know my dad better. This part talks about Buchenwald. Americans, British, and French broke through Hitler's the right they discovered. Uh, the Nazi atrocities and the concentration camps and mentions Buchenwald in the book. That's where he was, but Dachau, Bergen-Belsen, Auschwitz, Ravensbrück. It says the Nazi atrocities were understatements, and he circled it and said, this is true. It was there. The smell was horrible. Do you think he would be proud of you for standing up in the way you are? I think he would. I know my dad would be proud of what's going on. On the same hand, and I'm sure he would be upset with the way the government is treating the freedoms that he fought for. Jack's father is actually buried in a military cemetery just five minutes away from his bakery, so we are coming here to pay him a visit. My situation has nothing to do with the Nazis. It has nothing to do with racism. I want to run my bakery in a way that everybody who comes in is welcome. I don't care what their political persuasions are. God created lots of people. <laughs> created every one of them, and he wants us to show his love to them. All these soldiers, they fought for these freedoms. And it's not just me and you know my issue. It's for every American. They didn't sacrifice all this just to see it wasted away.